everybody so in today's video i'm going to be doing my new year's resolutions and this is the kind of video that everyone kind of whacks out at the start of the new year lists off like a million different things and then probably never actually completes one of those things so i wanted to do some realistic new year's resolutions um i've grabbed myself a tea because i drink a lot of tea if you know me you know i love a good cup of tea so if you're a tea drinker then get a tea before you watch this video because otherwise you're just going to be jealous of my cup of tea i don't have sugar in my tea i just take milk does anybody else have sugar in their tea don't know i don't i like having it without sugar because then it's refreshing and nice rather than sweet and sickly so I've got my little list. I've not got too many on there because you can't, you know, be too greedy with those resolutions. So I've got several different ones here and I'm just going to kind of talk them through with you and hope that they get done. They're not things like swimming with dolphins or kind of bucket list things that everybody seems to want to do apart from me. It, it, they're not massive things. They're literally just small things. First one is kind of a little bit like an obvious one. It's something that everybody wants to do and it's to work out. But... The difference with me is that I want to work out purely for the mental health benefits rather than the physical benefits. Last year was probably like the turning point for me with workouts in the fact that I suddenly realised that actually they had way more mental health benefits for me than physical benefits and that whenever I did a workout I felt so good after doing it and if I ever felt down doing a workout made me feel almost 100% better and to me that's amazing like doing a workout can make you feel better that's just crazy and you know I just realized that if I was consistently working out say seven days a week or six days a week I just felt so motivated with everything else I felt so much happy about everything else no matter what came my way no matter what made me nervous I suddenly thought that everything was a lot better a presentation that I might have to give suddenly became something that I could accomplish just like that, absolutely fine, because I've done these workouts, I felt motivated, I felt happy. Um, workouts are something that give that initial release of endorphins, which makes you feel good after you've done the workout, but actually it's something that in the long term gives great mental health benefits as well. Waking up in the morning feeling like you want to get up, feeling excited to do a workout, to actually feel excited to do a workout is something that people, a lot of people don't have, but I used to have that and I know how it feels to not be motivated to do a workout because that's how I feel kind of now. If you get into the routine of doing it, you will continue to want to do it, but if you get out of that routine of working out, then you will start to think, well, I can't be bothered to do this. Um, I don't want to work out. Why would I do that? You know, because you forget the mental health benefits and also the physical benefits so if you're doing it for the physical benefits often you can fail a lot quicker because you you don't see the, the difference straight away you can look in the mirror and see no difference even if there is a slight difference you might not see that because you see yourself so often whereas if you're doing it for purely mental health benefits then that's something that happens almost instantly and very very quickly and if you continue to work out for that reason only and you're motivated based on that reason which is how I was motivated then anything like toning and things like that do just naturally happen as well so again that helps so for me it's working out purely for my mental health rather than my physical health sometimes I get anxious with things that come up or sometimes I get a bit nervous with things but when I do my workouts all of that completely goes and it's not just a oh I've done a workout so the next day I'm going to be fine it's a I've got a solid routine of workouts in a week I'm gonna start doing a lot more kind of online workouts the workouts that I'm on about are ones that I do uh, videos so I actually watch people's videos online I tend to watch either Lucy Windham Lucy Windham Reed or Rebecca Louise's videos I'll link them down below yeah, I tend to watch those and they're really, really good. I'll do like one or two or even three sometimes. It depends on the video or it depends on my motivation and my ability that day. But I just absolutely love them. I do have two weights. I will do a video on my workouts. I'll do a video showing you what I do in a week, that kind of thing, what weights I use, all that sort of stuff because I really this year want to knuckle down on the workouts purely for the fact that I know how good you feel once you've done them. So there we go, that was number one. So number two is keep up to date with my upload schedule. So again, these are things that I can do. Sorry, tea break. 
I can keep up to date with the schedule. So this is my YouTube schedule. I want to be posting on a Monday, a Wednesday and a Saturday. I've done that for like a year and a half now, but I haven't actually kept to that schedule, but that's what I've wanted to keep to. To me, three videos a week is achievable. Sometimes when I have assignments and things like that, it feels like it's not achievable because I feel like I don't have time to film, but I always have time to film. If you've got time to sit down and do nothing, then you've got time to film a video because to me, filming a video does take a lot of effort. I've got my studio lights in front of me. I've got a camera I need to set up and make sure it's charged. I've got videos to edit, things like that. I've got them to save, upload. It takes a lot of effort, but I do have time to do it. So I'm gonna try and push myself to post three videos a week and to make them good videos, not just kind of for the sake of it sort of video. So if you've got any video ideas that you want me to do this year, comment them down below and I will try my best to do them. Number three is keep on track with uni attendance and work. So in general, I just wanna keep on, you know, on track with uni in general, making sure that I'm attending pretty much every single um, seminar and lecture at least. If I'm ill or whatever that, and I miss a lecture, it's not a massive deal. The PowerPoints are online. Hello, there, uh, Tommy. Doing my resolutions. They probably won't be able to see you. You can put your hand out if you want. There we go, that's my brother, Tommy Carr. <coughs> Tommy T Dog. Make sure you don't knock anything over. <coughs> yeah. Afternoon, people. Wow, you look red. I know, because I'm leaning over. Right, okay, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so if you miss a, a lecture or anything at uni, then you can catch up online. So I don't need to worry, you know, if I'm ill or anything, but keeping up to date with it, making sure I'm absolutely on it, because at uni, I'm surprised at how you can actually, you know, especially in the first year, because I'm in my first year, you can really keep on, on with it. You can keep on track with it if you really want to. There's nowhere near as much work as there is at A-level or nowhere near as many tests or anything like that. So to me, this is this new year is the perfect opportunity to knuckle down and to keep on it and then everything will be okay. Number four is budget my money a little bit more but save on food so you can spend a little bit more on shopping. So let me just have some tea. Before um, I came to uni, I used to, you know, have a bit of money here and there for a little bit of shopping occasionally, or maybe I could save a little bit of money. When I came to uni, it all went on food, nights out, and and food, really. You know, that was it, really. Um, yeah, food, nights out, that was pretty much it when you come to uni. So this time, I'm going to be a little bit more saving what is the word i'm just going to save a little bit more but i'm going to spend a little bit less on kind of meals out i'm still going to go for meals out and things like that because i do think having a social life is important when you're at uni you know having that experience and also nights out i'm gonna you know i don't tend to spend that much in a night out anyway because i don't drink that that much and um, because i'm a little bit of a lightweight like i can just have a few drinks and i'm gone you know so i don't need to drink that much anyway so a night out to me isn't really you know a worry i'm not going to cut down on nights out because i do think that they're important as well for the social aspect of life you know meeting new people having those conversational skills those social skills to talk to different people i think it's quite good you know at uni it forces you to be put into situations you're not used to, to talk to people you're not used to, and I quite like that. So I'm gonna be more so cutting down on the amount of meals out, and I'm also gonna be cutting down on the types of foods. So you've got to, when you do a food shop, be a little bit more clever with your food shop, which I am quite clever with anyway. But yeah, so um, I didn't actually buy one kind of shopping item for the whole semester of the whole first semester of uni because I just couldn't afford a thing basically so I'm hoping that I can at least you know treat myself to a couple of things or you know a little makeup item that I might want that kind of thing because I think that's important as well I've only got six so the fifth one is continue to go out on nights out that's a very random new year's resolution but you know but basically i like i said it's important for me i never thought i'd be that kind of person that would want to go on a night out or would be that bothered about it but now i've been on quite a few um i go like once a week on a tuesday student night i have realized that actually it's really good fun and also 
just a life experience that I think, you know, when people think about clubbing that haven't been, they think of it as this kind of, you know, I don't know, just a, not a great experience. I don't know, just very loud, very kind of, I don't know, violent. Like some people think it's quite violent, which it can be, but not really, in my opinion. Um, everyone's laughing around, having fun. Everyone's my own age um, because it's student night on a Tuesday and the drinks are quite cheap on a student night because it's student night and students don't have any money. So it's just good fun really, the whole experience. My night out, so I'll just give you a little run through of a night out. I'll go out about 10, we'll go to beer keller for a couple of hours, get a stein of lager or whatever, listen to some tunes, you know, obviously on the benches, that kind of thing, like woo. You know what I mean if you've been to Beer Keller and then go over to home at about sort of midnight or like one o'clock and stay at home maybe till it closes probably um, or maybe you know an hour before it closes because it closes at 3 or 4 a.m. I think um, so stay there have a few drinks you know not too many go on the dance floor a bit um, I used to go out into the smoking area because my boyfriend Tom used to smoke but he doesn't anymore but he does vape um, so we'll be going out into the smoking area for him to vape that's what we do and then when it closes when the club closes we walk to mcdonald's the one near the accommodation is absolutely packed at 4am mcdonald's is packed at 4am where you know next to the uni um we get a mcdonald's you know to sober up i really do need that mcdonald's though before i sleep to sober up then we walk back to tom's flat and then go to sleep and wake up at like 12pm in the morning so we'll probably you know get back at the flat at about 6 5 a.m or 6 a.m and then wake up at about 12 so we only have like six hours sleep which is you know not too bad thank you very much for listening um, and then finally number six we have continue driving and maybe start lessons and do my theory test so if you know you know that i started driving last year my dad was teaching me and my brother to drive and to start with it was very difficult very uh, like unnatural very kind of like you know, once I got in the car and I stopped 10 times, like, what the heck? But now I'm a lot better, you know, with this year. I feel comfortable, I feel confident, I feel like I can naturally do things now. You know, I naturally want to change the gears, all that kind of thing. I still haven't had an actual technical lesson from anyone. It's just, you know, with my provisional licence dad teaching me. And right now, for me, it's just about gathering experience. I am the kind of person that wants to have that experience behind me before I actually learn the really kind of technical kind of manoeuvres and things like that for um, my test. So I want to have experience and confidence. So for me, it's confidence behind the wheel before I have any actual lessons. So I think this year we're going to have some driving lessons to, you know, again, build up my confidence, get rid of any bad habits and learn manoeuvres and things like that. And then hopefully maybe do my test um, at some point, you know, I'll keep you updated. But I also want to do my theory test in the summer when I have time to do it. So when I have time to revise for it and do it, because if you're going to pay for it and do it, you might as well revise for it properly. So I'll obviously be videoing all of that and everything like that and doing a video on it. But yeah, so that's for my theory that I want to get done this year. But I have come a long way with my driving, so I'm very happy about that. But anyway, so that is my New Year's resolution. I hope it's not, you know, a bit pointless because they're, they're a little bit random. You know, they're not the typical, they're not, the t you know, the usual ones. They're very specific to me. But I think the main one is work out for your mental health rather than your physical health. You try that as well because, trust me, it works really, really well. But anyway, if you like this video and you're excited for some more videos, and I don't know why I'm doing this, but I am, um, then give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.